Hey everyone, my name's Nico. I work on the AI SDK at Vercel, and today I wanna to show you a new feature that makes it so much easier to build agents. Let's dive into some code and see how it works. So what I've got here is a simple Node.js script where we're calling generate text, specifying the model to be OpenAI's GPT-40 mini, asking the model what the weather is in San Francisco, and then logging out the resulting text generation to the console. Let's run the script and see what happens. The model responds, I don't have real-time data to be able to provide current weather conditions. We can solve this problem with something called a tool. Let's define a tool that is able to get the current weather for a location. This tool called weather requires a location to run and then when run will return a location and then a temperature. This temperature for this demo is just a random number. So if we save and now run this script again, we'd expect to see the model respond, the weather in San Francisco is X. But we don't see anything. Why is that? Well, we can debug this by logging out the entire result. All right, here's a lot. Let's scroll up to the very top where we can see that there is indeed no text outputted. Our tool is being called, as you can see, weather being called, and there is a tool result. So why don't we see any text? Well, the model has actually generated a tool call, so the generation is technically complete. So how would we solve this? Well, we could go into our script and check if there were any tool results. And then if there were, we could go in here and say, uh, check weather tool, and then pipe that into another generate text call. But this is a bit error prone, is quite verbose, and honestly doesn't scale very well if we want to add more tools. You can now solve this problem easily with a brand new feature called max steps. If we go back to our generate text call and we define a max steps of five, we delete our previous unnecessary if, and then we log out the resulting text generation again, let's see what happens. Just like that, the weather in San Francisco is currently 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So what happened? Well, this max steps defines the total number of sequential LLM calls that can happen for any given generation. And what is happening here is that anytime a tool is called, the AI SDK will pipe the results back to the LLM alongside the initial prompt for another generation. And this is why the model responded with text rather than nothing, because it actually had a subsequent step. And we can see that even further if we console.log the resulting steps. If we come back here, we can see that there is our initial step, and this was like previously when we hadn't defined a max steps, this was that tool call generation. And then there is the actual model response taking into account the tool results and the initial prompt. This is already powerful with just one tool, but gets exponentially more powerful as you add more tools. So if we add a new tool called attractions, and the idea here is that I want to be able to both ask the model for the weather in San Francisco and also ask for what I should do given that weather. So what's happening here is this tool called attractions takes in location and temperature, and then we'll send another uh, request to the model asking what are three attractions in location that I should see given its temperature outside. So if we also update quickly the prompt to say, what is the weather in San Francisco and what should I do, and then check that we are logging out the resulting text, run the script again, and we should see the weather in San Francisco is currently 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are the attractions you should consider visiting, Golden Gate Park, Land's End, and Fisherman's Wharf. As you can see, this is super powerful for agentic workflows. If you have any questions, check out our documentation at sdk.versel.ai or reach out on Twitter. Thanks so much.